What are the challenges you're facing as this technology grows? What is the next thing to work on? What is the next hard problem to solve? Well, we've just solved one hard problem, which is this idea of in very brightly lit rooms, it's hard for the digital content to show up. And in Magic Leap 2, we've introduced something called dimming, where you can take your physical light, and it's actually very hard to portray the color black in augmented reality, but we can dim the lightness around you. So for instance, a surgeon can dim the operating room all the way down to just the part that they're operating on. We can actually go all the way and turn the device into a VR device. So it gives us a lot of flexibility to fully occlude or to stay in the physical world with right. our content. When is the next step of this happening? Right? My view, when, when do I get one of these? When does it become useful for, when, when does it move beyond specialized areas like machines, like, like uh, construction or, uh, or surgery? That'll come when the componentry gets smaller, lighter. We can bring that down to a smaller package. You, you, I think you, know, you can see the picture of the device here. It is small and light, but for It's a still big, though. Yeah, for a consumer to wear, I don't see that. The next generation of it should bring it down to closer to that glasses form, which is kind of the holy grail to meet a consumer's needs and something that consumers will wear. They'll wear a pair of glasses. How far away is that holy grail? Um, two years. It's I, always know, two years. I'd say it's probably a couple years out. And, and, but I don't think it's the 10 years out that some of the companies that are starting to dabble in AR uh, are saying. It is if you have a bunch of problems to solve in AR, but we've already solved, we've been doing this for 10 years. We've solved a lot of the complex optics in the AR product that we have. So I think, you know, it'll, it'll be, it's more like a few years, not 10 years.